Hey, Monster Dragon Metals here. Today I will be finishing the Chaos Space Marine I've been working on. So there it is so far. Only the highlights left to do with this dry dawn stone colour here, which is very light grey, all that's needed. And matte black to tidy up inside the lines. As you can see, these have been highlighted on the backpacks and the guns and all them bits and elbow pads and such. It's actually a hurricane sort of thing, storm today, storm deadly and unis. Look at that. Not that you can actually see anything out there. Very ruinous. So, you heard any strange whistles and squeaks? It's us. Storm Dudley. Silly name, if you ask me. But it's screaming. This storm is actually giving me a bit of a wind headache. Nobody likes that. So, dry paint here. Look at that. So that's what it looks like. That's what you'll be needed. You can make this on your own also. Just let some paint dry out on a palette. It's definitely the least liked part of painting models that I do. I hate dry brushing stuff. Thoroughly hate it. It is not a good not fun like the rest of the painting. It could be quite annoying. And it's very dark next to the storm also. Which means I'll have to probably tidy this up even more. May or may not finish it in time. Try and get it on. So this is the leader of the Chaos Space Marines, the bad guys of this squad half anyway. Full size squad is 10 of these dudes. Usually have a standard bearer and maybe a sergeant. A special weapons operator, a flamethrower or some such. They're evil dudes, so probably a flamethrower. <laughs> Does seem like the appropriate weapon of an evil super soldier, which is what these things are. Lots of story, backstory to them. If you want to look it up. The Horus Heresy. Which is what it sounds like. A very biblical battle. In the year 40,000. Which is actually scarily based on the American Civil War. Brothers vs. Brothers and such. It's very nasty. That's where the story is some sort of linked to history repeating and all that. Wow, this storm's actually been doing my head in today. It's a very unpleasant one. It's a whistler is what it is. And there's a massive tree outside also, as you've seen. A very noisy sort of tree. Damn it, I got some on the cable, so I don't want that. Still, I can tidy up later. Very tiny, all the corners are where areas would catch light. Even ones that wouldn't. Depends what you, what you want a sort of fresh new look. Like a nice painted model like the others, or you want to go more realistic, in which case it'd probably be messy all over the place. If you want to go for realism, you'd be all kicked in rust and mud and gunk, most likely. After all, how many battlefields are clean? Virtually none. So the backpack's actually coming on quite nicely here. So I could take a little bit longer, but it's not. My bunny rabbit is hiding today. She don't like the storm. She's in the bedroom all crutched up in the dark. All cuddled up. Sorry, crutch is a wild word.
means cuddle in Welsh. It's a very strange word, I suppose, kutch. Uniquely Welsh thing. Although probably not anymore thanks to the internet. But there's people in Vegas saying that. <laughs> probably. Considering there are so few Welsh people, they seem to be everywhere. That or they're just easier to spot. Right, reading very nice, coming along with the backpack. Have a little look at that, focus. See all the edges, picking them out. Wow, the snow is really loud. Don't like it. Storms of this loudness. I prefer thunderstorms actually. Much much cooler and more entertaining. <laughs> this is just plain annoying kind of storm. You know them ones? Noisy, destructive. Balloon much but chucking rubbish all over the streets. Some of this goo out of here. Onto the little lip. There we go. Where was I? Ah. Backpack thrusters. These backpacks are actually not functional. They should be jump packs allowing the Marines to jump hundreds of meters, but they long since broken. Now they just serve as power supplies for the power armor that's being worn. They contain micro fusion reactors. So there's a little nuclear reactor in these backpacks. Lovely. <laughs> Still, they are super soldiers, immune to things like half radiation. These ones can even breathe in like a neo vacuum and whatnot. <coughs> right, is the backpack done? Backpack looks done. One more bit. Oh, very difficult edging. You don't need hardly any paint on the brush at all for dry brushing. In fact, less is more. You just have to go over it multiple times, as it were. Around the eye slits, there here, very touchy. There we go. Don't want it to go in the eyes, you just want it to go around the rims. Oh, heaviest rin wind and rain, supposedly going to be 90 mile an hour winds. Oof, can believe it. This is something like 30 to 40, so 90 is going to be insane. Should be interesting, though. Suppose. Trying to get the horns done now, as you can see. All the rims of the horn things. Not sure what you'd call them, actually. Beasles! They are. The beasles, I said. Horn beasles. The helmet. Beasles are kind of holder. Holding things. I suppose that's not a very often used word. <laughs> Don't sound like it's an often used word, does it? Beasle. Sounds like something to do with Satan. <laughs> but it's not. So, backpack done, and I've done some work on the helmet, as you can see, picking out the detail of the eyes and such. So I'll need to be tidied up with a black afterwards inside the lines. Gun next. Got 
a lot of paint on the brush. I do clean the brush now and then, otherwise it'll kick the brush up with paint. Which will be too dry and it will destroy some bristles, which will lessen the lifespan of your brush. So it's good to clean your brush regularly regardless of needing to dry brush stuff. I'm gun now, as you can see. It's going to be sort of tricky on the gun's um, what would you call it? Grip. The gun grip. There's a bolt gun. Type of mass reactive weapon. Shoots basically miniature missiles. It's highly strict. Suppose it's the equivalent of a 120mm grenade shot automatically at high velocity with future explosives. So. Pretty awesome power. Mountain destroying firepower, basically. If there were one of these beings present in on Earth right now, we wouldn't be. <laughs> They're that powerful. Even one would be able to topple pretty much every stupid government in the world. So, super soldiers indeed. Fingers, highlight them, pick you know, out all the lines. As you can see, why I don't like doing this is quite annoying and laborious. Same thing over and over, and then I gotta tidy it up with a matte black, which I may or may not show. So, you don't like doing this part. I wanna go. Join my bunny rabbit and hide from this nasty stuff. <laughs> so you got the idea right. Hiding. It does sound horrible though. Imagine what it sounds like to a bunny rabbit. Oof. Oh. Doing the elbow. I should, yeah, the elbow. Hands look kind of short, but I guess they would be on a stocky sort of warrior. Even though they're probably gigantic. Game terms, they'd all be 12 foot tall giant. Elbow done. On this finger here. My hand. Very tricky. Oh. Painting at this scale can get annoying, obviously. Touchy. A lot of people like to use magnifying glasses and jigs to hold the model in place, even the brush. And a lot of people also like to airbrush stuff these days, which produces amazing results, but it's basically cheating and you're not painting anything with an airbrush. You're just applying a stencil or a pattern over other patterns over and over. So, not really painting. And even then, professional airbrush is far from cheap. Stones roaring in my head. It's just everywhere with a heavy sort of pressure in the air. 
all that material up there. It's like being in the water. Uh, gives you a bit of a headache. It'll look like the others when it's finished. I mean, all dark and evil and cool looking. We'll also show how to make the uh, boreal bases I've shown on the other model. Like sort of a dark, moody forest full of creatures, I suppose it would be. But quite natural feeling. Not like an industrial base or alien or anything. Not this time anyway. Show you what I mean anyway. That'll be the arboreal basin. I might not include the little bit of swampiness. Or I'll show how to do all the rest and paint all that. It'll be cool. A bit cake that. Just the legs left, I believe. Yep. Mm. Legs and cod piece and shoes. Boots. Let's do the leggage first. Very carefully. Same for the cod piece. bit there. <laughs> Carefully. Done. Still need to paint in all the lines with black to make sure the highlights look even less prominent. And if I get them like really well perfect and not much overlap, like I'm doing now, We'll need very, very little touching up, if any. Which is preferable. Oof. Can you share that storm now? It's making my whole, the whole building that I'm in shake with vibration. It's quite powerful storm, this one. Deadly. Thoroughly British sounding name. Or American, I suppose. Could be either. Eunice, what's that? <laughs> Sounds like a Victorian nurse. Victorian nurse's name star. <laughs> really? Just doing the rims on the back of the leg now. Come on, focus. You can see the highlighting picks out all the detail. Yeah, look at that. How much cooler that looks with the highlights. Ooh. Right, where was I? Legs. Ah, 
just that bit left to do, and then I'll do some tiny bits of battle damage using the same color, which is just basically very tiny scratches on the armor in open places. Oof, be very careful there. Ah, oh, that's perfect. <coughs> perfect. T. Well, cold T, but whatever. Well, ice. Ice tea. <laughs> the vents are whistling in you. It's so annoying. Maybe battle damage time. Most of the paint though for that, as you can see. Just want some streaks across the armor. Make it look like it's been hit by something. Or perhaps even clawed. Done that on the other ones as well, so very very subtle. Don't need too many. It's best they be in the regular places anyway. Scratches and abrasion, I guess you'd call this. Highlighting's been done, I just need to tidy that up with a black certain places. Uh, storm is attacking my brain. You can hear it, it's vicious. Also show the base that next video. Tyranids over there I'm also painting. Let's have a little look at one of them. Tyranid Termagant. Still got all the, some tidy up left to do, as you can see. There, I want all these musculature to be shown. Very cool and sort of animated little things, though, aren't they? These Tyranids. I have a, a lot of them, 20. I have 10 there. And 5 already painted. Just a test. And 5 left. So, just tidy up now. Fleef. Hmm, weirdly watery. Whatever. Far too much on that. Damn it. Wipes it off, doesn't matter. Any floof. Animal fur can be a problem when painting. Could be an issue. So gotta keep on top of the cleaning, basically. So doing all the time. Well, I do have a house rabbit. She's worth it anyway. She's very good company. And of course a rescue bunny. Found her in a road. Like skatey. She's very small too. So escape from somewhere. Could have been from anywhere really. Yeah. Runs quick bunnies. So scared of the cows. Oh, this is difficult. Oof, that was easy, easy point one millimeter that line on that hand there. <laughs> nice. That small painting. Same on this grip. Incredibly tiny lines. Don't want it to be overly highlighted anyway. Well, on that part, on the grip anyway. 
so it's be all obscured by the fingers and whatnot. Back round. Mm -hmm. Right, a pencil palette then getting carried away. Just doing the hand glove the glove. Mm, I'm happy with that. Elbow, next elbow. Still got to do the backpack and the legs. For it's finished. So not too many stages to these ones. I think I'm painting some sort of vehicle next. There's that will take more stages than three. <laughs> Probably be several videos, in fact. Getting to a degree that I'd like it to. Like a movie set sort of thing. Quad piece now. Oof. That was a fine painting. On the leg, on the knee. Okay, it just fell. What was that? Mm. You can see here there is very very fine painting going on. I'll take it slow. You're doing this. Otherwise there's literally no chance you'll get it good. Not unless you have rock steady hands. Well, my hands aren't that steady, I do have really good eyesight. So I rely on that a lot. More than steady hands. I reckon just having good eyes is probably more important. Well, if you haven't got good eyes, get some magnification going. This leg part is definitely too much there. Importantly, use a very similar black if you're going to use a different black than the spray paint. Because this is uh, actually undercoat paint mostly on it. That is from the spray can. And it looks pretty much done. Yep. Oh, backpack. Let's into the backpack. No, I forgot something. Ooh. Everything moves. <laughs> Everything's moving with vibration in here. Very powerful stuff in this one. As you were saying, but it's most distracting. It's a bit worrying actually, the heaviest wind I've appeared in a wall. Very distracting. Especially when doing a video. More scrapping videos on the way also. Should be doing after I've 
So I'm have to fix these. Should be interesting scrapping. One is a security camera, the other is a tablet, neither of which I've shown, both of which I've taken apart previously. I know a fair amount of what's in them. Pretty good knowledge of electrical components, anyway. Some very old, new, or obscure, or unlabeled ones. Confirm me. Which case you probably just need to find the guy that made it which is possible people in factories do make them but just asking around on the internet often and get you the answer for what some obscure strange looking component is or does not in the electronic world anyway so it's like infinite variation always something new work coming out, new chips, improved versions and such. Nothing's ever the same. Okay. Under this whoa. In actually louder. Guard. Oof. My brush can barely reach. But it does. Eee. Somewhat long painting video, half an hour. But it is finishing it up, so. Actually done that quite well on in the lines on that thruster, non-functional thruster. And I'm done. Cool. Let's have a close-up look. So there's the finished Chaos Space Marine with all the highlights done. Including some gunky thrusters. <laughs> well, hope you enjoyed the series of videos on how to paint these Chaos Space Marines. And join me in the next video, where I will be showing how to do these arboreal bases. With all that shrubbery and stuff, lichen and grasses and mud. You can have different variations of leaves and such on these, actually quite cool. And this dude will be joining them, and I'll show how to base him. Well, that was how to paint a Chaos Space Marine in Black Legion theme. Till next time.